welcome back to my channel so this is a homecoming look i just did this because i know a majority of you guys watching are in high schools before we get into it don't forget to sub one subscribe to my video two like this video three follow me on my social media that you see right here so we can connect you know what i'm saying so i hope you guys enjoy and thank you guys so much for tuning in i appreciate it so much and let's get right into it let's get started i already did this eye off camera now i'm gonna do this eye right now we're gonna prime our eyelids i'm gonna use the la girl pro hd concealer to prime and i'm just gonna blend it out with my finger because i did take my acrylics off and I do have eyelash extensions, but I'm still gonna put falsies on just because I don't care. So I'm going to take this white shadow right here from the Carly Bible palette just to set my primer. And you can use any white shadow or you can use translucent powder or face powder, doesn't matter, just set it. I'm wearing my Chicago basketball shirt, even though I'm not even from Chicago, but I do like the Chicago Bulls, in case you guys didn't know. So, okay, now we're gonna move to that. Take the Ther Morphe 35F palette. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild blending brush. What we're gonna do is we're going to grab the Morphe 35F palette. Looks like this. And we're going to take this shade right here as our transition shade. It's kind of hard to do your eyeshadow when you have all, I mean, extensions, but Mine are kind of tiny, so it doesn't matter. So we're gonna put this on the crease. And this is a fairly simple look. So I saw this look on Pinterest. I will insert a picture of it, like right now probably. And I thought it was so beautiful. I thought it was such a beautiful look. And it was something that if I actually did makeup in high school, because in case you guys didn't know, even though I look like I'm 16, I am 22 years old. So I am not in high school. But as I was saying, if I were going to homecoming, or if when I did go to homecoming, because I did go, I went twice. My mom did my makeup for me because I didn't know how to do anything. I didn't know how to do shit. In high school, I did not do makeup at all. But I saw this look and I was like, this is what I would do if I, if I did makeup. And I'm blending with the Morphe M441 brush, so it's kind of big, but it's a really good blending brush. So, and it's with no additional product, I'm just blending it out so it doesn't look hard. So then I'm going to grab my Morphe M433 brush, then I'm going to take the, Mo the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia, and I'm going to take Love Letter, and I'm just going to add that to my outer corner. guys on this side because one the angle for the camera is like perfect and then two this eye always comes out so much better than my right eye like in life with brows with eyeliner with anything this eye is always so much better it comes out so good you want to just pack it on and then blend and a trick i learned a lot of people put it like right where you put the crease like up here start up here do not do that because i used to do that and it make, it'll like make your whole eye pink start like low start like basically on the lash lines because the brush is kind of thick so start down here if you must and blend up because remember you do have to blend it out so if you start up here it's going to end up here when you're blending it up and basically you just want to go back and forth with this like just keep adding until it's dark enough for you, and then we'll move on to the next step. So just pack it on. Don't worry about blending yet. Okay, so again, we're taking the clean M441 brush. So just gently take your brush, literally with the softest pressure, just blend it out. Just the edge here. Okay, anyways, it is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Yogurt. Do like half a cut crease so now I'm going to go back to my 35F palette and this acts as a base 
um, for glitter kind of. So I'm going to take this shade here. And I'm going to take this gold shade from the, oh, I hope I don't drop this, the F palette, where is it, right here. I'm going to take that and put it right over that. Right over the base and the glitter we just added. Not glitter, but the shimmer. I really don't even like shimmers, but this was like bomb. And then we're going to go back with a love letter and our Morphe M433 brush and just to make it like seamless. You want to add a little tiny bit more and just blend it in a little bit on top of the gold shimmer. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to fix this eye because this eye looks too bomb. So now I'm done with the eyes. Um, I'm so freaking blind. I'm so sorry. I can't even see if the camera is picking it up well, but it is so pretty. The rose gold is like so gorgeous. So take a uh, makeup wipe, a makeup remover. This is like I said, why I suggest doing your eyes first and just wipe it away. Mine is dirty because I just took my makeup off from some areas, so don't mind that, but yeah. Take a clean one and just wipe away the corners. And then the other side. So. For eyelashes, I have brand new lashes that I'm so excited to try and I don't even care about my extensions because these lashes I got in the mail and I was so excited to try them so this is fucking extension. We're gonna try these. So this is by Miss Fab Beauty Lashes. I got two. I got one in the style Luxie and one in the style Slay. So thank you so much to Miss Fab Beauty Lashes for sending them to me. So this is what Luxie looked like. Look at how beautiful. I'll leave them in the description down below. That's Luxie. This is Slay. So these are the ones I'm going to be wearing tonight. A little more dramatic. So I'm going to take my duo, my Ardell duo lash glue and it's the white one. I'm going to add it very lightly. You definitely want to wait a little bit before you put it directly onto your eye. It's good, so we're gonna add it. Okay, so I'm back and I did both of these lashes. I applied them and I freaking love them. These babies here are beautiful. So I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. It looks disgusting, but that's what I'm going to do. I was gonna take some foundations, but I realized that since you are going to homecoming, you are going to be uh, taking pictures. So you do not want a foundation that has SPF. You don't necessarily have to use the one I'm gonna use, but just make sure that no matter which one you're using, make sure it does not have an, any SPF in it, because that means you will get flashback in your photos and you do not want that. Now I'm going to take my, of course, you did, did you guess it, the Wet n Wild Concealer, Photo Focus Concealer in the shade White Ivory. Because it's too light. 
I'm gonna set my face. And I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder just because, again, this is a good one for when you're taking pictures. So leave that baking, and then I'm gonna grab my Max Studio Fix Primer. I'm actually going to take a product that you guys recommended to me in my one of my videos. So thank you guys so much because it easily became one of my favorite bronzers and it is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So I'm going to take my um, Kat Von D shade in light palette and just to contour. So I'm going to take the lightest shade. I don't want to show it because it is broken. So um, it'll fall everywhere. And then for blush, I'm going to take, can you guess what it is? My e.l.f. duo BG bronzer and blush. I'm going to just grab the blush though and just add it. We are almost done guys. I did my lower lashes and um, you do not have to go that dramatic. Literally I, all I added was a transition shade and that was good enough and some mascara down there and you're, you're good to go. I'm going to take an oldie but goodie that I love. It's the Chi by Colourpop Cosmetics. Oh, and I had lined my lips with the, I lined my lips with the NYX Cosmetics lip liner as usual. I think that's like the only lip liner I own. I'm going to take my Becca Cosmetic Champagne Pop Highlighter. So that's it. I'm going to do my hair and change this Chicago shirt. Even though I'm not going nowhere, I'm going to go to sleep. But I gotta show out real quick for this completed look. So I'll be right back again. Okay, so that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I had so much fun making it. I love this look so much, guys. And I hope you guys do too. I will catch you guys next time. Uh, leave me comments again to what you would like to see. I actually want to do Halloween looks, so let me know what kind of Halloween looks you guys want to see. I'm not really very, very creative, but I will try to be this year. And yeah, that's it.